The next morning, she confesses to me in tears that she ended up alone with one of the band guys for maybe half an hour, and they ended up talking, then flirting, then more. The extent of what happened is she sat in his lap. They made out, and she felt up the outline of his D through his pants. I was asking her to leave for a few days so I could think about things. She agreed. I will be contacting a lawyer while she is away. I am getting a divorce. I will never be able to see her the same way. I can't imagine touching her again. A couple of nights ago, my wife of two years, together six, went to a metal show with a friend who was providing a professional service to the band. So she got to hang backstage beforehand for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. I didn't think much of this. She had done this before. It's a buddy system type thing, so her friend isn't alone with men she doesn't know. And my wife gets to see and meet bands she's into. She texted me throughout like usual. She seemed off when she got home that night, but just said she was extremely tired and it was super late, so I didn't think much of it. The next morning, she confesses to me in tears that she ended up alone with one of the band guys for maybe half an hour, and they ended up talking, then flirting, then more. The extent of what happened is she sat in his lap. They made out, and she felt up the outline of his D through his pants. He was asking for more and was asking her to meet him after the show. She claimed she said no to both. She says, I can... She says I can contact her friend to fact check that they left together immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah. ask, ask the friend who's not going to back your wife up. <laughs> but I haven't contacted her yet. She can't exactly give me a reason why this happened. She's a fan and, and was flattered by the attention and was just caught up in the moment. And it was a mistake, etc. I mostly believe her that's all that happened, but I'm having trouble imagining that I can get past this. I feel sick and like I'm in shock. I don't feel any anger right now and I can tell my wife is hurting and guilty. I want to try to give this a chance at least, but I have no idea where to start. Has anyone had success with something like this or should I trust my gut reaction that I'll never feel the same about her? I think this post was deleted from another sub, but I'm desperate to connect with someone over this. I'm too ashamed to talk to my friends about this. No update. I'm sorry if it's too soon for an update, but I got a lot more information, so I figured I should share for the people that read my first post. Thanks. Thank you all for the advice and just reading my story. If nothing else, I feel less alone in this. I figured she would just lie, but I decided to reach out to my wife's friend anyway. She was asking if she could call me and that I should take it somewhere private, so I went so I went out to my car. Here's how she told me things went down. I put all this in order as the conversation was very jumbled. Prior to the show, my wife made some comments to the friends that band guy was attractive and was asking her friend if she thought she had a chance. Hypothetically, friend said she thought it was odd, but figured she was being light jokey. Band guy, who's 55, by the way, and my wife were flirting heavily and openly in front of, of the friend the whole time backstage, to the point where the friend texted my wife asking her what the F her problem was. Friend left him alone not even close to a half hour, maybe 10 to 15 minutes while she went to her car to put her supplies back and came back to find them as my wife described, sitting in his lap, making out. Prior to leaving them alone, she was, she had, she was asking my wife to go with her and my wife repeatedly 
refused. Band Guy thanked Fran for her services, but called her a cock blocker. He was asking if they wanted to party after the show, to which the friend said no, and my wife said yes. Friend practically dragged my wife back to her car after the show. Only then did my wife begin to panic about Friend possibly telling me. Okay. Friend told her she wasn't sure what she would do. But her friend is ticked off at my wife and told me she's decided to cut her off. She feels she, feels she made her look unprofessional and like a groupie herself. And she's very mad she had to walk to her car alone at night because of her. And she's disappointed in her for cheating like that. So there you have it. It's likely my wife didn't do anything more than what she said, but she definitely would have. She lied about it and tried to get ahead of the truth. Yeah, I'm done. I'm pretty sure. Good. We have another update, guys. Update wife cheated at concert. I feel like I am blowing up this sub. This will be my last post for people who asked. It has been helpful. Thanks to everyone who offered advice or just sympathy. But after this, I'm going to step away from it. I know this is counter to what some people recommended, but I just couldn't do anything before speaking with my wife again. I just had to know more and hear some things from her to be sure of what I'm going to do. I sat her down and told her that I knew she hadn't been honest with me about things and that if there was any chance of reconciliation, she needed to be completely honest with me. I need to know exactly what happened, why she did it, what, what she intended to do, and if anything like this has ever happened before during our marriage. She told me she had a crush on this musician for years. She was excited to meet him and wanted him to find her attractive. She's very attractive and always looks incredible on a night out, but didn't think anything would happen between them. When he flirted, she was super flattered and flirted back. She claimed to still have had no intentions for more at that point, but was enjoying his attention. When her friend left, she deliberately stayed behind because she wanted to know if he would make a move but claims she was going to reject him. Just more ego tripping. Well, he did, and it was more of an assertive move than she expected. He just picked her up, sat down with her in his lap, and proceeded to make out with her. She said he was aggressive, but that she never resisted or said no, etc., and in fact enjoyed it and reciprocated she said it happened too fast for her to think about it. That she was telling herself to stop, but couldn't. He moved her hand to his D once he was hard, and she rubbed him through his pants for a few minutes till her friend came back and interrupted. She straight up admitted that by this point, she was horny, not thinking clearly, and wanted to get it in with him, and was planning to after the show. She 100% assumed her friend would cover for her. She was angry with her friend for making her leave after the show. Things hit her in the car. The guilt, the regret, the disgust with herself, the fear of losing me, etc. She lied out of panic but insists that what matters now is nothing more happened. And that's what she said. She claims to be extremely remorseful, would do anything to save our marriage, all of that. She says she put herself in a bad situation and that it will simply never happen again. I was asking about the few other times she had been backstage with her friend and she swears nothing happened, but also admitted she was not particularly attracted to anyone she met those previous times. I was asking her to leave for a few days so I could think about things. She agreed. I will be contacting a lawyer while she is away. I am getting a divorce. I will never be able to see her the same way. I can't imagine touching her again. I cannot imagine how completely and quickly she put me out of her mind. It's just effing over. I know there's a, I know there's no larger context for our marriage in these posts, and I don't know how to give that. And I honestly don't. 
want to think much about that right now. I would just say I knew my wife had a wild side. It made her exciting to me. Maybe I should have scrutinized that more, but I never saw anything that made me think I couldn't trust her. Now I think I was a safe and boring choice for her, and I think she's sure I will take her back despite this. I've taken some time off work and reached out to friends and family so that I won't be isolated in the next few days. For people that have asked me about the friend, she is married and she's Les. So no, I won't be chasing her, but she did offer to talk if I needed, which I may take her up on that. Lord knows it will be easier than explaining this to other people. Thanks again, all, and good luck with your own struggles. Wow. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Mm, mm, mm. I thought my friend was going to cover for me. I mean, that could be a red flag. That could be a sign, too, that the friend has covered for her before. As soon as she was saying, oh, you can call my friend and ask her. I'm just like, I, I was thinking the friend was just going to lie and cover for her. Because, guys, most most times women will do that. But this friend straight up was just like, no, nah, that's not cool. And you embarrassed me. You ticked me off and made me look bad. Wow. Dude, you're doing the right thing, man. Serve her those divorce papers. It's over. And I, I've been there. I've been there as far as the messing with somebody who has more of an edge. I I, I understand that. I was a lot younger. But I do remember thinking like, wow. I kind of do like this edgy part. It, I, it, it, it's just like it's like the whole opposites attract thing. So when you said that, I, it, it reminded me of some a situation I was in, and that's true. You know, men and women. A lot of people sometimes like like um, a different personality from theirs. If they're really cool and chill they kind of like somebody with an edge some people with an edge like somebody that's more cool and chill it's kind of like you balance each other out but uh just like you learned and like i learned that's not a good idea she this woman she's talking about oh i've never done this before i didn't find those other guys attractive so if you would have found them attractive you would have been cheating on me and you're also telling me that You've been cheating on me this whole time with people you found attractive because there's no way we've been together this long and you didn't find anyone else attractive. Sir, you are smart. You're doing the right thing by leaving her. What a piece of crap. Let's check out the comments. I toured with rock and roll bands for many years. I have dropped women off at home the next morning and have them ask me what they are going to tell their boyfriend husband you aren't getting the full story buddy and you probably never will her friend will never tell the truth either that's what i thought wifey and fran have that story in step that's why she confidently told op to call adults don't just make out especially backstage at a rock show with one of the band members right and especially probably there's been drinking they may have been some smoking yeah they're, they're just not making out I remember one time, I, one time I had a woman tell me, she's like, okay. She so-called called herself telling the truth about some stuff. Yeah, I hung out with this guy, but we just hung out. That's it. I hung out with that guy and that's it. We didn't do anything. We just talked. We actually talked about you. I was, guys, I was gone. Oh, I don't want to hear anymore. I don't need to hear anything else. You lied about where you were. You ended up with some other dude, but you're telling me, oh, we just talked early in the morning, two in the morning. Come on. Okay. 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 The next morning, she confesses to me in tears that she ended up alone with one of the band guys. I can tell you what to do because you know her and your relationship better than anyone else. I know I would find it hard to get past. Absolutely. Bro, they will only admit to what they have to. Absolutely. She would have stayed with you. 
knowing that she cheats on you. I'm telling you right now, just hearing how you describe her, and this is not her first time cheating. She's a cheater. She's been cheating on you for a while. And I know I know that feeling. I know that feeling of, dang, I was just the safe guy. That's that's a horrible feeling. I don't know if you guys have been through that. It's, it's a crappy feeling, but things get better, man. Things get better. Sorry to hear it, man. There's no reason to stay with her after this. She didn't confess because she felt guilty. She confessed because her friend caught her. It wasn't a drunk mistake. It was premeditated. Contact a lawyer ASAP and start the divorce. Kick her out of the house and protect your savings debts that she has access to. Go no contact with her and don't meet her so she can explain. Apologize. I agree with all of this. This was premeditated. She's a groupie type and I bet she has done this before. Yep, you guys already know. Good for the friend for doing the right thing and refusing to cover for a slag. I think you're doing the right thing, OP. I still think she's lying to you, and I'd be very surprised if this was the first time she's done something like this. At any rate, it's only a matter of time before she meets some other guy she finds really attractive. Thank you. When she said that, oh, I just never found those other guys attractive, but I find him really attractive. So you sat on his lap, rubbed him on his peen, kissed and made out with him. Because you found him attractive, but those other guys you didn't find attractive. But you're telling me you don't go to work and find other people attractive. You're not walking in a grocery store and see some guy that, that's attractive. What happens when they hit on you and they're attractive? Your husband just has to deal with it, right? Some bull crap. Guys, it's not worth it. It's not. I think the last nail in the coffin was she straight up admitted that by this point, she was horny, not thinking clearly, and wanted to get it in with him. But you are the one she really loves. It's so sad. Someone who can separate love and sex like that is not someone who is marriage material. Absolutely. Three women who regret cheating on their husband. Story number one. I had an affair with my boss. I have been married for 19 years, together with my husband for 23 years total. We have two great kids, ages 11, 12, and 14. Last fall, I started an affair with my boss. We had both have had feelings for each other, but haven't pushed till now. About July, I was asking my husband to move out. We told the kids the news, and it was very hard. Heart-wrenching, actually. My plan was for me and my boss to start a new relationship. My boss did leave his wife, no kids, and we started out our relationship. Everything was good for a few months, and we were very much in love. Now, most of the feelings I have for my boss, now boyfriend, aren't there. I constantly compare him to my soon-to-be ex-husband. I don't know what I was thinking, but I realized it was the worst mistake of my life, and I don't know how to fix it, or even if I can fix it. Yesterday, I went to my husband's firm to go over the divorce. When I saw him, all of my feelings came rushing back. All I wanted was to jump over the table and, and hold him and never let him go. Leaving him is turning into my biggest regret ever. I tried as soon as I left his office. I couldn't control it. I cried as soon as I left his office. I couldn't control it. I should have thought this through. I'm so stupid. He even told me this would happen and even was asking to give another chance to fix any problems we had and he would forgive me. Now it's too late. Last night, I was thinking about how I would never be able to hold him again, kiss him, or even make love to him. I threw it all away and now I wish I hadn't. I lost it all and I will never be able to get it back. Now I don't really know what to do. I'm lost, hurt, and confused. <laughs> Story number two. I bumped into my ex and... 
As far as adulterous wives, I think I win first prize. I was two months away from retiring from my job, looking forward to being a stay-at-home mom. Our 10-year anniversary was a month away, and we were attending marriage classes at our church. I ran into a boyfriend from 21 years back, someone who had hurt me. Someone who had hurt me. But we had been very close. Of all the people to run into, it had to be him. Initially, the phone conversation was like it used to be. We talked for hours, which led to text messaging, which began to bring back feelings in both of us. In my mind, I was receiving the undivided attention I had so wanted from my husband. It felt good. Eventually, the talking became intimate and the affair began. During the two months, I celebrated 10 years of marriage, renewed my wedding vows, and retired from my job. The night of my retirement, I was with the other man. I didn't do this because I was unhappy with my marriage. I had no intentions of, of ever leaving my husband and four children. I simply loved the attention that was showered on me by this man. Well, my husband found out and I admitted everything. He immediately moved out of the house. It's been two months. Life is so bad now. The kids just know that dad is really busy at work and helping grandpa with his new house. Every day I feel more and more lost. How could I have done this? So many memories now meaning less to my husband. I can say that his love for me was deeper and stranger than I ever knew. I know that now. I don't know how we will end up, but I can only pray that he comes home and gives me a chance to be his wife again. Mm, mm, mm. Darn shame. Story number three. My husband caught me in bed with my best friend's brother. Wow. When I met my husband, he was the nicest person in the world to me. He was so smart, funny, thoughtful, and the handsomest man I have ever met. So when he asked me to marry him, I was happy. We were married for nine years and had two kids, six and four. When my husband left to go on a trip for work, while he was gone, I went out with my best friend and she brought her brother with her. He was very muscular, strong, good-looking, very sexy. So when we went back home, he dropped off his sister and offered to take me home. I said yes, but instead, we went to his house, and I began a three-year-long affair. I was thinking I hadn't had sex like that in years, and he made me feel sexy and alive. So one day, my husband comes home early to surprise me and tell me he got a promotion and he would be able to spend more time with me, but he caught me in bed with another man. Long story short, I wanted a divorce. He begged for a second chance, and I broke his heart. It hurts me every time I think about it. Once I got the divorce, I got full custody of the kids. Later, I started to regret my decision, and now I wish I can take it all back. I wish this was just a bad dream and I could wake up in my ex-husband's arms and tell me that everything was all right. I missed the way he would take care of me and be there for me. Now I live with the thought that he can't see his kids again or that he won't be able to come visit them. I tried to talk to him after all this happened, but he turned me away. I understand why, but I still love him. I wish I had been a better person a better mother, a better wife. Now my kids hate me and my friends are upset that I would do that to my husband. I just want to know if I can become a better person and help my kids and even get my life back on track. Wow, let me give my thoughts. Oh, the regrets, the regret here. Oh, all three are just miserable. Oh, why did I cheat on such a perfect husband? You guys get that, you guys get that, uh, every story. 
The husband was great, perfect, most handsome man I've ever met in my life. He has money, he has a great job, he takes care of me, but I slept with my best friend's brother, but my boss was more attractive, but the ex who hurt me, but I do remember how he used to break my back back in the day, came along and I cheated. Oh man, is it worth it, guys? Is it worth it? No, I'm not telling anybody not to get married. I will never tell you guys what to do, but me, no, no way. There's no way. At 19 years, nine years, all these years, all this time put into these relationships. And they just say, I had a vulnerable moment. You stopped giving me flowers on Sunday. You stopped kissing me on the back of the neck in the mornings while I cooked breakfast. All these excuses to cheat. And then they cheat and regret it. A lot of times they regret getting caught. We all know this. But sometimes they do regret, like in these stories, when they don't have anything. Oh, man, I got to work now. I was supposed to retire. Now I got to go back to work because my husband is gone. And then in the first story, he gave her a chance. He said, I'll forgive you. You sure you want to do this? She's no, we're done. All right. Now she looks stupid. The boss is not who she thought he was. He's probably he probably went back to his wife. Now she's by herself. She regrets it. Now she's alone. But here's the thing. Let's say all these husbands take their wives back. Okay, I'll forgive you. You're doing bad. I'm going to take care of you. You're the mother of my children. They're going to turn around and do the same exact thing again. They can't help themselves. It's ridiculous. Guys, on that note, let me know what you think about this in the comments. What a piece of trash. Ugh. Ugh. Catch you guys at the next one.